Okay, this is the P2 paper from October 2020. It's question number eight, which is a sequences and series question. In particular, on this one, we're going to be focusing on geometric series. So let's remind ourselves about a geometric series. Uh, part A, a geometric series is where we would start with A. The next term would be AR. The next term would be AR squared, AR cubed, and so on, up to the nth term. And the nth term, hopefully you already know, is AR to the n minus 1. It's always, there's the fourth, there's the third term. It's always the power of R would be 1 less than the actual number of the term. But as I say, you should know that anyway. What we're being asked to do in this first bit is to prove the sum of that um, series. Now, you should know this proof. So if you don't know it, basically learn what I'm going to do here. It's a set thing that I'm going to be looking at. So I'm going to say, actually, if I move this across a little bit, I can say the sum of n terms is equal to that. Now, if I want to derive that formula there, um, all we do is we say, OK, let's imagine that we'd multiplied all of that by r. Well, if I've multiplied all of that by r, it means I need to multiply each term by r here. If I multiply each term by r, I'm going to get ar, ar squared, ar cubed, going on and going on all the way up to, if I do the last two terms this time, it'll be ar to the n minus 1, and then ar to the n here. And then all I'm going to do with these two is to actually subtract them. So if I subtract them, uh, if you wanted to do, actually you could say 1 and 2, as I'm trying to explain it to somebody, 1 minus 2 gives, well it will give Sn minus R Sn is equal to, now if we're going to subtract all these away, I'm going to get A is okay, so I'll get A, but then I'll have AR minus AR AR squared minus AR squared, AR cubed minus AR cubed. And I'd leave that as part of my proof here to then show that everything's going to go except for the A minus the AR to the N. So from that, we can just factorise both sides, take SN out of the left-hand side, take A out of the right-hand side, and then we get SN equals a 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r, which is a proof of that top um, equation that they've asked us to do. So, yeah, you have, you've absolutely got to go away and learn that. You need to be able to do that without really any thinking at all. I wouldn't expect you to try and work that out in the exam. You just remember the process and go through and just do that. So, very important. It's a nice uh, little reminder of us while we're getting ready for the exam. Right, what does part B say? Part B says the second term of a geometric series is minus 320. The fifth term is 512 divided by 25. All right, okay, looks a bit complicated. Find the common ratio. Uh, and again, it's not complicated. Uh, when we're looking at these, just put the information down. So if it's telling me the second term, the second term is AR. So it's telling me that's equal to minus 320. And then it's telling me that the Fifth term, which will give me AR to the 4, is equal to 5, 12, divided by 25. And then again, if you've done practice of these, we know that the way to tidy up any simultaneous equations when we've got geometric is to look at dividing them. Okay, If I actually do A to the 4 divided by AR, that's the way that I'm going to cancel out the A's and just get R cubed, which means I'll just get a value I can solve here, so I know that I would be doing that, is 512 over 25 divided by minus 320. So we're going to get R cubed worked out to be whatever 512 divided by, uh, 512 over 25 divided by minus 320 works out to be. It works out to be minus 0.0. 064, which might look a bit worrying at first, but when we cube, sorry, when we cube root it, that actually works out to be minus 0 0.4. And then you think, oh, right, well, that's good. That's a nice, neat answer for um, that set of information. And it then says for part C, right, hence find 
the sum of the first 13 terms of this series and giving your answer to two decimal places. Okay, well, that's no problem at all either. If we're going to be doing that for part C, um, I've got that... Well, I've got to work out A first of all. So I've got that AR equals minus 320. And I also know that R is equal to minus 0.4. So that means I can work out what A is. 320 divided by 0.4 gives me 800. So now the sum of N terms is A1 minus R to the N all over 1 minus R. So it's going to be equal to, what do I want? The sum of the first 13 terms. So the sum of the first 13 terms is going to be 800. 1 minus, minus 0.4 to the 13. All divided by 1 minus, minus 0.4. Just stick it all into the calculator. Okay, I'm not going to spend any time doing that. Just put that all into the calculator. And the sum works out to be 571.43. And go back and just check. It said to two decimal places, so make sure you do that. So relatively straightforward for a geometric question. Hopefully that will make sense.